全球暖化不止让大堡礁可能在二十年之内消失，澳洲另一个自然遗产同样也岌岌可危，那就是热带雨林。几亿年前，整个澳洲大陆都被热带雨林所覆盖，但现在却只剩下不到国土面积的百分之一。而这些仅存的雨林，是地球上最古老的雨林，历史长达一亿五千万年，拥有七百种原始物种。有的甚至是恐龙时期就存在的植物，但由于全球气候异常，将近四百种的动物濒临灭绝，其中无尾熊的数量从数千万只锐减成四万只，而拥有六千五百万年生存历史的食火鸡，现在更只剩下九百只。山岚郁郁苍苍，一阵大雨过后，更显得青葱翠绿，广无边际。这片位在澳洲东北部的热带雨林，绵延五百多公里，距今已经超过一亿五千万年。坐上空中缆车，低头看地球现存最古老的雨林，仿佛回到侏罗纪时代，震撼又神秘。一年两千到六千毫米的降雨量，在雨季化作奔腾的瀑布，犹如千军万马宣泄而下。我们跟着水流进入最原始、人类从未开发过的雨林深处。坐着二次大战遗留下的水陆两栖军用战车，驾驶者是拥有三十三年经验的生态解说员 Murray。This type of fan farm, the family is about one hundred million years old. The giant tree fern families, about one hundred and fifty million year. They used to be dinosaur food. 梭罗树、苏铁，或是高耸入云的贝壳山。在这片热带雨林里，随便一颗都是亿万年前就存在的物种。澳洲大陆曾经被热带雨林完全覆盖，数百万年来的气候和地理变迁，如今只剩下东北部海岸线约九十万平方公顷的雨林，只占国土面积的百分之零点二六。虽然不大，却被公认是世界上最多元的自然生态区。They attract many birds, many butterflies. The umbrella tree is a primitive tree family. Its family is over 80 million years. 四亿一千五百万年来，澳洲一世独立于其他大陆，生存在雨林中的物种几乎就是地球生态演变过程的活化石。现存的两千八百种生物，有高达七百种，在世界其他地方不曾出现过。和树干一样的保护色，动也不动。博伊德的森林龙是澳洲热带雨林独有物种，但却也备受威胁，因为无法适应越来越热的温度变化。科学家预测，二零五零年，全球将有一百万个物种会灭绝。而森林龙注定是其中之一。事实上，在这片古老雨林中，高达三百九十五个物种和森林龙处境相同，都因为暖化巨变，濒临灭种边缘。醒目的蓝脖子，头上顶了个头盔，犀利眼神，锋利鸟嘴，脚趾三爪，好似匕首。鹤驼，俗称南方食火鸡，六千五百万年前就栖息于澳洲热带雨林，最多可以长到两百公分，比人还高，是世界上最大不会飞的鸟。但强而有力的鸟腿，一个飞机配上利爪，可以撕破敌人的皮肤，把内脏、肠子一并攻出，是世界上最危险的鸟类。但它现在的处境似乎更加危险。Uh, over the last five years in North Queensland, we've lost a lot of the cassowaries. In 2006, we had a large cyclone, a really big storm came through, and it devastated a lot of the rainforest to which the cassowaries live in. Uh, the, the population back then was said to be around the 1,500 plus cassowaries in the wild. 
Uh, then after that storm, a lot of the rainforest was ripped out, so these birds didn't have a food source. Unfortunately, after a while, the numbers started to decline. 雨林摧毁，没有食物，吃火鸡不得不跑到街上觅食，却惨遭撞死。现在的数量竟然只剩下九百只。食火鸡如果灭绝，这不光是一种鸟消失的事，而是整个雨林食物链的崩解。Uh, this cassowary is actually a keystone species for our environment. They eat around 150 to 200 native rainforest fruits. The, the fruit goes inside the bird, and they'll actually poo it out very, very quickly. Now, what they then go do is they turn around and eat their own poo. Now, by eating your own poo, uh, you get the seed the second time, you break the fruit down even further, uh, and then the seed softens enough to germinate, in which then the seed then starts to grow. Without the cassowary, trees don't germinate, so the rainforest starts to die out. We don't have a home for these animals, and they don't have a food source. 热带雨林不光是被风灾摧毁，全球每分钟有二十四公顷的雨林被人类砍伐，一年共计十三万平方公里的雨林消失，相当于三个半大的台湾。照此速度，二零三零年地球上将没有热带雨林的存在，而过半数的物种也将消失。小叶子、搔痒、打盹、半梦半醒，无尾熊每个模样、每种表情都惹人疼惜，丝毫不知道未来的日子有多艰难。一九九零年代，澳洲无尾熊的数量还有四十万只，但因为整个自然环境的改变，目前只剩下四到八万只。澳洲国宝动物无尾熊，十八世纪被探险家在澳洲山脉发现后，似乎就开启了灭绝的历史。原本有几千万只，但一八八零年到一九二零年遭到猎人疯狂捕杀，市场上出现三百万只无尾熊的毛皮。加上破损不能出售的，至少有一千万只无尾熊被杀。近几十年，更因为环境开发，加上全球暖化导致的森林大火，无尾熊所栖息的尤加利树越来越少，让这个为数已经不多的可爱动物也快要濒临绝种。The main reason is it's because people are cutting down their natural habitat. Koalas only live in specific areas, and those areas quite often are the same areas where humans like to live. And so quite often they'll clear the land, and then the koalas have nowhere to go. They do go down on the ground sometimes, and then of course they can be attacked by dingoes or domestic dogs will go after them, and sometimes feral cats will have a go. And unfortunately, we do have quite a few koalas in certain areas that are injured by cars. 无数可爬、无叶可吃的无尾熊，再也没有足够的栖息地生存。昆士兰黄金海岸一带的无尾熊，两千零三年以来数量已经减少了八成，每年更有约四千只的无尾熊面临车祸或是被野狗咬死。澳洲无尾熊基金会预估，三十年之内，无尾熊就会面临绝种。二零一二年，澳洲政府终于正式将无尾熊列为濒临绝种的动物。澳洲独有的塔斯马尼亚虎袋狼已经彻底在地球上消失了。曾经盘踞古老雨林的凶猛鳄鱼，也因为值钱的鳄鱼皮，现在只剩下五万只。食火鸡、森林龙、无尾熊，未来的命运都越来越艰难。还要有多少动物灭绝，多少雨林被摧毁？人类才能惊觉，因为我们的存在，地球生态有了多大的改变。欢迎回到《消失中的奇景》。为了对抗全球暖化，澳洲政府在去年底通过了历史性的干净能源法。从二零一二年七月起，针对全国前五百大的碳排放者，开征碳税，来遏阻二氧化碳的排放。尽管大企业和小家庭都要多付出能源成本，但估计二零二零年整个澳洲的排碳量将比两千年减少百分之五。
。其实澳洲人一向注重生态保育，即使致力发展观光，但为了不破坏仅存的百分之零点二六热带雨林，搭建空中缆车竟然没有伤害一草一木。而张开双臂欢迎全世界观光客到大堡礁的同时，竟然也可以做到几乎零污染的生态维护。澳洲究竟如何在商机和自然当中取得平衡？居高临下，俯瞰穿越一亿五千万年历史的热带雨林，深刻感受地球演化的百变生态。这条全长七点五公里的空中缆车，是人类与自然和平共存的一种方式。We didn't go cutting out those areas to build the station, and everything you see around us—all the concrete, all this、uh, boardwalk—this was all built in, brought in by helicopter. The rope of the helicopter was 100 meters long or more,、um, so the rotor washed from the helicopter blades didn't disturb any birds in the trees or any animals. 一九九五年建造的空中缆车创下世界上最长也最环保的记录，因为光是审议就长达七年。而建造了一年间，没有出动一台大型机具开发，而是用卫星定位、直升机悬吊安装。三十五个塔柱全是由八十名工人徒步走进雨林，一草一木，安好无损。Before they built, they come, they took every little plant that was in the area. They took away the top soil and、uh, they put the plants in pots. They built the tower, and after the tower was built, they put that little tree right back in the same place they took it from. 斥资百亿台币的空中缆车夺得世界环保与建筑成就大奖，亿万年的雨林首次没有因为人类活动受到干扰，得以保存，生生不息。即使是工人行走的雨林步道，也都刻意挖出树洞，让树木循着生长方向自由发挥。人类的需求在这片雨林当中绝对不是第一位。So this is our solar power station, Claire. And this, there's 96 panels here. And even the birds like it. <laughs> 大堡礁最南端的珊瑚岛，一九九五年，澳洲政府在小岛上盖了生态度假村，四十一间房，最多只有一百人会同时在小岛上，毫无奢华设备，只讲究普世自然。经营者 Peter 花了七十万澳币。台币两千一百万，把旧有的柴油发电机转换成太阳能发电设备。At the moment, we're making about forty percent of our energy from the sun. By the middle of next year, we'll be up around between sixty and seventy percent. By 2014 to 2015, we hope to be ninety percent natural energy. 明年 ，Peter 还打算再花十万澳币装设风力发电系统，达到百分之百的干净能源。而岛上用水是海水淡化，有污水处理系统。至于废弃物，全要分类运离小岛。I can sit up here, get great views, <笑> and I can. It's just fantastic. 无污染的坚持，让这颗大海中的珍珠始终维持纯净天然。凌晨四点，我们随着热气球冉冉上升，迎接着地球第一道曙光。从高空向下俯瞰，广阔大地，百态万物，孕育了今日的富饶国度。历经越来越多风灾、旱灾与物种灭绝的劫难下，南方古老大陆人民已经深刻体认。这颗转动了四十六亿年的美丽星球，值得我们更好的对待。欢迎回到《消失中的奇景》。采访澳洲的旅程，我们有很深的感受。近距离接触大堡礁和雨林，才知道我们居住的地球有多美。而一个真正文明进步的国家，不是只会求经济发展，而是更懂得尊重自然、保护生态。减少碳排放，对抗全球暖化，保护自然遗产，是每一个地球公民的责任。别让珍贵的奇景消失在人类愚昧的决策当中。
。今天非常感谢您的收看，我是舒梦兰，我们下次再会。